Like the seatbelt warning light on your dashboard, this one can also save your life. It's telling you that at least one of the tires on your vehicle needs attention because the air pressure is too low. When tires are low on air, they tend to wear out faster, which by itself is a good reason to take action when you see this light. However, if you ignore it, the chances of a tire failing and causing the vehicle to lose control continue to increase each day your tire is low on inflation pressure. According to a report from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, 78,392 crashes were caused by a flat tire or blowout. Those accidents caused an estimated 414 fatalities and 10,275 non-fatal injuries, so the consequences can be severe if a tire loses air while you're driving. Starting with the 2008 model year, all new passenger cars, SUVs, and light trucks under 10,000 pounds must have a tire pressure monitoring system, or TPMS, to warn you when the air pressure in one or more of your tires is becoming dangerously low. On most vehicles, the air pressure is monitored directly by sensors inside each of the tires. A receiver on the vehicle collects the individual RF signals, and in some cases, you can even see the tire pressures for each position on the instrument panel. When the air pressure in one or more of your tires falls below 25% of the recommended inflation for your vehicle, you will see a yellow or orange light that looks like a horseshoe with an exclamation point illuminated on the dashboard. It's a signal that one or more of your tires might be overloaded or losing air, so the best practice is to have them checked immediately by a tire professional. With the low-profile tires on today's cars, it's a lot harder for you to spot a low tire by pulling over to the side of the road and looking at the sidewalls. For example, if you look at the sidewalls on this low-profile tire, the visual difference between the recommended inflation pressure of 30 PSI and 24 PSI is virtually impossible to see with the naked eye. Even when the pressure drops to 20, it's still difficult to notice. On the other hand, the visual difference between 30 and 24 PSI on a tire with a higher profile might be a little easier to see while the signs of underinflation on the sidewall at 20 PSI is probably more obvious to some people. When a tire sidewall flexes during operation, it creates heat in the body of the tire. In most cases, the amount of heat depends on how much flexing takes place. When the inflation pressure is correct for the load, the flexing is minor, so the amount of heat will not damage the tire. However, when the air pressure drops below the 25% threshold where the TPMS warning light is illuminated, the overflexing causes the heat to just keep building, which usually leads to a tire failure. That's why you should never ignore the TPMS warning light. On one hand, it might be that one or more of your tires are a little low on air pressure. On the other, it could be a leak that will eventually result in a flat tire that may need to be replaced or, in the worst case scenario, dangerous if it happens while you're driving. It's also important to know that every TPMS has a built-in mechanism to warn you when the system isn't monitoring the tires at all. If the light starts blinking after turning on the ignition and then stays illuminated, the TPMS has a malfunction. Some car companies also use the yellow letters TPMS to identify a system that is malfunctioning and not monitoring your tires. If the TPMS has a malfunction, the vehicle must be taken to a tire service professional in order to diagnose the problem. When the TPMS is operating correctly and all the tires on your car are within 25% of the recommended air pressure, the yellow light will go out shortly after starting the car. It's a sign that none of your tires are dangerously underinflated, so you can follow your regular inflation pressure maintenance schedule. But, if the light stays on, something is wrong with your tires and your safety could be at risk. It's an important warning that action needs to be taken as soon as possible, especially if your vehicle is loaded with passengers and luggage. Next to the seatbelt, TPMS is probably the most important safety system on your vehicle. When it's monitoring the inflation pressure in your tires, you'll have an added level of confidence that the tires can support the weight of the vehicle and its contents. And when you're hauling the type of cargo that can't be replaced, maintaining the TPMS is simply the best investment you can make.